Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeeves, your old composer here. The Decomposer Lounge, early in the morning. Dissecting, peeling back the layers of tracks that you suggest, or in this case, punch it through my list on Patreon at lightning speed. This comes to us from Patreon, and this is the band Sky Harbor, and the name of the song is Evolution. So I've got my, my Jumbo Java all lit up and ready to go. A little bit of vanilla nut creamer. Yeah, I'm that guy. I can't help it. Anyhow, um, I did a little bit of research on Sky Harbor, being that this is the first time they're on the channel. And uh, they're, it looks like there's kind of like, uh, it, it says here, this is in the about section, so I'm just reading, that Sky Harbor is an Indian American progressive metal band in India from India. Indian from India, sorry, that's what I meant. Um, from New Delhi and Mumbai, and uh, I guess members from Cleveland. I. Don't know why that's in there like that. Maybe that's really a super cool gitchy thing because I don't care where you are from around the world, what color you are, whatever. If you're coming together for metal in any shape or form, that is fire. Um, they are progressive metal, metal, and ambient music. Oh, that's going to be a trip because you know how I am about ambient. Maybe they blend it all together. Maybe I'm about to put my, <laughs> my foot in my mouth because that's what they're all about. All right, guys. I want to thank you guys like usual for your support. Um... You know where the links are for the cup of coffee. You want to check out the headsets that I wear and everything. You know, where are the links are down below. All right, let's do this. The band is Sky Harbor. The song is Evolution. All right. <laughs> This is a good place for me to stop because these chugs sound fantastic production wise. Something that I've learned on this journey about the, 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 the world of chugging, and I made the mistake I think that all noobs make, is when I got my very first seven string, remember that about a year and a half ago, I was going, oh, okay, I drop, I'm going to go down to drop A, and I'm going to do this, and I put dirt on it, and it was just so warbly and, and unwielding and just ugly sounding. I realized it's not the intensity of the distortion, it's a very unique mixture of overdrive and stuff, but still not enough to take away from the clarity of the tone of the low boom, boom, da, da. This is a great sound. Love this guy's voice, love the harmonies. The harmonies very, very intricate, very cool. They're set back, but they give you a little bit of lightness through otherwise what's a heavy, you know, uh, section that's being played, you know, right behind him and stuff. That opening, without for about a minute, 
as I was hearing it kind of build, it was had this dark and dissonance and these ambient kind of vibe to it, but I couldn't pin if it was there was a some kind of a pad or something that was behind what was going on there, because it was one of those kind of messing around with sounds a la engineering, you know, when the drum was coming in, you know, doing um, this, a, a rhythmical pattern. It wasn't erratic or anything like that, but it definitely was kind of somewhat chaotic. <clears throat> and I started getting into it, but it was that, you know, lo-fi kind of vibe. So obviously they were fixing to give us, you know, uh, straighten us out sooner or later, and they did once they came in. <clears throat> also what I noticed is, uh, forgive me, is there are these unique patterns that are going, you saw me doing this, digga, 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 digga. there are these patterns that go on in certain parts of the arrangements too that they don't obviously stick out because my ear just kind of dials into those unique patterns that are back there. Those are so cool. I'm sure they're probably going to repeat that kind of an aspect or that kind of arrangement as they go forward. But listen for the nuances. It's the nuances behind the power of the, you know, you know the drums and the bass and, and the guitar that, that, that really makes me kind of like dig into this track. That and the melody and those harmonies too. So let's keep going. That was really nice to end on that kind of subtle, polished kind of, <coughs> excuse me, um, da, 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 kind of like a ninth it felt like in there in the, as it resolved slightly. Um, <coughs> when I was doing this, when I went, oh, the bass and stuff like that, it, it, the bass sound was so warm and so bottom that I guess I'm assuming that it was drop tuned or something or maybe it was an eight string or seven string or something. Because there was some low notes that, it, that he was hitting there that were so ballsy and so round and so warm. Still had the, it still had, a, you know, unk to it, but that's where I was going, oh, oh, listen to that. Listen to where he's going with that. And if you notice, a lot of the guitar work, a lot of the clean guitar work had a lot of delay or, or, or reverb on it. 
what I would call ice ethereal reverb. So that gives us a big ambient, you know, space to swim in in, in, in my head. <clears throat> One of the things, I kind of liken this a little bit. On my other channel, I've been doing a lot of OST work. And um, and I'm learning that there are, there are some composers that do this hybrid kind of ethereal, um, <coughs> excuse me, ambient um, composition and lean in with this kind of, this, I don't think this, I don't, I, since I'm not that experienced quite yet, it, not quite genty, but I think if you drop the strings low enough and you do certain things, it qualifies it or something like that. But that lower chugging, that's not overdriven. That is such a powerful component to keeping us kind of lit, but not pushing it too far into an over metal drive. And what I mean by that is his vocals were phenomenal, but they also have a very crystal clear kind of vibe to it. I didn't, at least this is the only performance I've heard, so I'm sure there's probably others where he gives a different performance. But it did not, because his vocals were so powerfully clean and crispy, great harmonies and stuff, uh, I just it just sounded to me like the decisions that they made for the tones of the guitar were not to be so overly chuggy and dark sounding. Also because... You have kind of these other tones. Remember that arpeggiation? You see me always going. Dee, 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 dee. There's all these things that are happening that have to have space to to exist in a mix. And just my own personal experience is that you know if you've really got some powerful guitars really just chunked up into your face and stuff like that, those those frequencies will eat up the space where otherwise you know something else might live. So I don't know. That's just that's just me being very heady right now in the production engineering thing, and that's because uh, of the coffee as well. But I love this. I, I definitely want to hear more about this band. You guys uh, tell me other uh, tracks I should listen to uh, by Sky Harbor, and I'll be right on it. All right, guys, listen, I hope you have a killer day. I've got a killer. I have a killer slow burn coming up for you uh, at the beginning of next week. Uh, my members on Patreon are helping me choosing the songs, and so I'm excited about this one. It's, I've had a lot of requests for this particular band, and, and it's about time that I, uh, of, of well as many of other ones as well, but, um, so I look forward to that. All right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Like, dislike, comment. Check out the links below. Take care. See ya.